Well hello, my name is Andy Tidy and welcome back to a new mini-series of Canal Hunter. Exactly one week ago I was bringing our boats back from some fairly major maintenance on the Shropshire Union Canal to our base at Aldridge. And the way I got back was to come south along the Shropshire Union to Orthery Junction and then turned right to get to the Wolverhampton Locks. Now what I really wanted to do was to turn left travel a few miles along to Calf Heath and then to take the abandoned Hatherton branch which represents something of a back door into the BCN. Now I'm not going to give you a long history to this canal, I've done that already in the past and I'll put a link into the description field below so you can have a look at that one if you want to know more about the history. Suffice to say the Hatherton branch was the one major branch built by the Staffs and Worcester Canal Company and they built it to access the coal fields which were emerging around Cannock. Now the Hatherton Branch Canal is one half of the Litchfield and Hatherton Canal Restoration Trust's project to increase access to the northern BCN. But for the time being most of their effort is being spent on the Litchfield end of things, what was the Ogley Locks. They keep a weather eye on the Hatherton Branch and they keep what they can maintained but it's mostly a holding exercise and if I'm being absolutely honest I doubt that in my lifetime my boat will travel up the Hatherton branch and onto the BCN. Now this inability to see the Hatherton branch uh, put back into water and back into navigation is something of a sadness and I suppose it's part of the driving force which has been behind my collection of archive photos. If I can't see what it's going to look like tomorrow at least I can have a look and see what it used to look like yesterday. And in the case of the Hatherton branch that yesterday was about 1951 which was when the last boat forced a passage through. So if I can't take my boat and navigate it up the canal today what I can do is to fly my drone along the route and intersperse that drone footage with all the archive photos which have emerged over the last few years. And put that together you'll probably have a pretty good idea of what this venerable old branch canal used to look like in its heyday when it carried hundreds of thousands of tonnes down from the Cannock Coalfield each year. Today this is just a sleepy little lost canal. Back in its working days it carried twice as many boats as the busiest locks you can find on the modern canal system. This was a super highway, not that you can tell today. Anyway, I'm not going to do a lot of talking at the beginning of this video. I'm going to let the pictures do the talking for me. They do say that a picture is worth a thousand words. The one drawback, as you might notice from the background, is that it's a bit foggy and that's not great for drone photography. When I left home it was glorious sunshine but here it's minus one and you can't see a thing. So if you see the clarity of the picture improving over time you'll know that the sun has done its job and it's burnt its way through the mist. I hope you enjoy this episode of Canal Hunter and I'll see you at the top. Well that last attempt at making a video of the Hatherton Branch Canal ended in something of a disaster. You may have noticed the background was a little bit foggy. Well it turned out to be worse than that, it was freezing fog and the visibility was absolutely atrocious. So here I am a few days later back at Calf Heath ready to make the video again. I'll show you a short clip of the drone footage I took to start with and you'll see why I gave up.
Well this brings us to the entrance to Hawkins Basin, the original terminus for the Hatherton Branch Canal. It was from here that the tramways linked into the collieries around Great Worley. And this was the point where the canal was fed with water from the Hatherton Reservoir, just slightly across to my west. Now this may have been the end of the road for the original version of the Hatherton Branch Canal, but after a few years it was extended a bit further to join up with the BCN at the top of the Churchbridge Locks. And to do this they built another mile or so of canal channel and we'll follow that right up to the roundabout which marks the start of the Churchbridge Locks. you could call this format PhotoStream Plus. If you like the format of drone photography overlaid with archive pictures let me know and maybe we can do some more. Anyhow for now thank you for watching this episode of Canal Hunter and I'll see you soon. Cheerio! Mm -hmm.